Okay, so a couple of days back I shared a video on the nameless room for the OnePlus Nord and we also have a similar room for the OnePlus 8 series and the OnePlus 9R as well. So I tested it out on my OnePlus 8T for some days and as usual it is one of the best feature rich rooms that gets timely updates. So as expected this one also gets great benchmark scores and overall some great features which I will discuss in this video. And before we start, if you want more content like this one, please make sure to tap on that subscribe button and press the bell icon if you haven't already. And in case you wish to watch this video in Hindi language, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel and you can watch it over there. First up, this is a fully stable version. So there are OTA updates available in settings just like on Oxygen OS. So you don't have to worry about future updates and it even has the option to install the updates manually in case you want to do that which is something that I feel should be there on all rooms from now. So let me start off with the benchmark scores first. So on Geekbench, the device scores as high as 904 in single core and around 3356 in the multi-core score, which is a really good score and among the best I have seen till now. And on the similar note on the Android 2, the device scores around 7,7000 points, which is a really good score and on paper, the performance is top-notch. Also before I get into other details, the charging time that I got with this one was similar to Oxygen OS that is around 0 to 100 in just 40 minutes and the battery life was quite good that is around 7 hours of screen on time without gaming and it might vary for you as well. Also the widewind level was L1 in my case which means that you can stream on apps like Netflix and Prime Video in Full HD and that's a great thing. Now starting off with the lock screen and fingerprint scanner which all looks very similar to other rooms based on Android 12 and the fingerprint scanner here works like a charm. It is quite responsive and you can even make some tweaks to make it look more minimal if you want to. So you can disable that by going to the lock screen settings and turn off this FOD icon background option. And there you go. The launcher that we get here as expected is the Pixel launcher that looks clean and has better material you support with many of the third party apps. And overall it works very well too on the 120Hz refresh rate. Also all the Pixel specific features like the unlimited photos backup at storage saver quality is also there. So you don't need to worry about that as well. A new thing that you will see here is the new audio output picker from Android 13 preview. And you can easily toggle between devices or control the volume which is something fresh. You also get the OnePlus camera inbuilt with this one which works fine for normal images and videos and videos can be recorded at 1080p or 4k and all other modes like nightscape are also working here which is a really good thing plus you also get the oneplus gallery in case you feel its absence on custom rooms there are also a bunch of oneplus specific settings that can be found on this room like you can tweak that alert slider enable high brightness mode and things like pocket mode as well and yes it even has the fps counter which i'll get to in a second you can also tweak that vibration strength and boost that touch sampling rate which might help in some scenarios like gaming. And yes, we also have Dolby Atmos present here which works just as well on Oxygen OS. Though I found that the speaker volume is a little less as compared to Oxygen OS. Plus things like always on display and edge lighting are also there to add some more fuel to the fire. You obviously get the material you theming with the new themed icons and all that looks good but as an added bonus, you can tweak the colors and their levels to a great extent. Which brings me to this complete dark mode that you can get by tweaking a couple of settings like I did here. So you can tweak the theming engine as per your liking in this themes option. Other than that, the features like three finger screenshots and one handed mode also work as they should. And there is a ton of customization for various stuff here. Though it isn't present in a specific area, but you can see them in settings just like in notifications, you can use a flashlight to notify you for calls. And in case your device is silent, this is really helpful. Or you can choose your favorite font, your favorite icon pack, icon styles and a lot more in the display settings directly. You can also force all the applications to use that full screen in case some apps show that black border around. And there's a lot more to explore here. One really interesting thing that I saw is in the gesture settings. So not only do you get the lock screen gestures from Oxygen OS, but we also get the quick tap feature. And this is one of my favorite features which was possible before with third party apps, but this is even better. 
so you can basically double tap on the back of your phone to take a screenshot, access Google Assistant or play pause music. And if that is something you don't want, then you can open any application you like, just with double taps. And by the way, don't try it on this page and complain that it doesn't work. Well, to try it out, just go to any other page and check if the gesture works or not. So I really like all the features that are present here that are there from all the Pixel phones and even Oxygen OS 11 on this one. The next good feature that is there is the gaming mode, which is also taken up a notch by some more features. And you can find an additional game space option in your app drawer. And this gives you some good options like you see in Oxygen OS. And these features are very helpful just in case you miss Oxygen OS. Apart from that, we do get the gaming mode from Pixel phones that has the inbuilt FPS counter to keep a track of your BGMI frames. And we also have the 90 FPS support in BGMI on this room. Overall, the gaming performance, especially with BGMI, was really good even on the 90 FPS mode. The device can easily handle it for longer periods just fine, but for a better experience, you can stick to smooth and extreme settings. But I don't think you will after trying out the 90 FPS mode, as it just feels better overall. There are no major concerns here, and the device has been doing good with all the applications. Though there is no call recorder here, so do keep that in mind and you can try some third party apps. Overall, I did face some hiccups here and there, but things just got better after every update. So if you really want to try the Android 12 on the OnePlus 8 series or OnePlus 9R, definitely give this one a shot because it carries every other features and performs very well in day-to-day -day tasks and has quite less issues here and there. Anyways, now let's see how you can install this one on your OnePlus 8T. First up, you need to have an unlocked bootloader to install this one. And if you haven't done it till now, here is a card to that video to make things easier for you. After that, you just have to download the zip files from the link in description area. And after that, just right click and extract this zip file. So wait for a couple of minutes. And once this step is done, it's now time to connect your device in fast root mode with your PC. So to do that, just turn off your device and then Long press volume up, down and power key at the same time for like 5 to 6 seconds until you see this fast food mode screen on your device. Now this means that your device is ready to be flashed with the ROM. So just open the ROM folder that we downloaded in the first place and now double click on this ROM flasher.bat file. Now it will ask you if you want to install this ROM or not. So just type Y and hit enter and now it will start installing the ROM on your device. So now you just have to sit back and relax till the process gets completed and you will see this installation done text on your screen. After this you can just disconnect your device and just select this format data option on your device to format your internal storage. So once it's done, you are all set. Now just click on this reboot to system option and your device will reboot to Android 12 on this Pixel Blaster ROM. So I hope this was simple enough and if you have any doubts, I'll drop a link to the Telegram community in the description area and you can get your issues resolved over there. So this was a short way to flash the Android 12 based nameless room on the OnePlus 8T. And if you end up liking this video, make sure you press that like button and tap on that subscribe button for more videos like this one in future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.